hello guys this is my first tutorial in java today i am going to show you how to create database in mysql using xamp okay oh, first of all you have to download the xamp and install it after installing you will see a shortcut on desktop double click xamp and you have we need uh, this to apache and mysql for our local host to get started today we are going to create database in mysql using local host as our server so first of all what we do after opening this exam we click on admin button here you can give username and password I am giving my username as root and password is also as root ok you click go now you will enter php my admin control panel here you can see if, if you want to create databases we have to start just click here database and give a database a new name okay, today i am going to give new name to our database as student okay just click on create see database student has been created now you can see in the list this, this is the list of uh, some default da databases and we have created just created a database name student just double click on our database you can find create table option here okay just click on create table so we are going to create new table in our database student so let us name student uh, our table name as student info okay and uh, first of all when whenever we are creating database every record needs an id the id is the id is used for identifying uh, users or records without id the database is incomplete okay for today in uh, student info we are going to give an id to each and every student so in our table name i am going to create columns in table the first column comes is id okay now this id column is an integer type you can specify length 30 and okay now since it is id is uh, unique we have to set it as primary that means it is unique and uh, just give auto increment to id so each and every time you, no, uh, you need not to type the serial number of the um, students okay that's why we give this auto increment as uh, checked now let us say save okay table this table has been saved if you want to see you just click the student info table in student database you can see here we have created an id in column 1 and its number is 1 okay now if you want if you want to add more uh, columns just uh, we can add from here now i want to add one more column after id just click here and just click go okay now one another column structure is open here i am going to give second column a name as name okay now this name is varchar type its length i am going to give to 55 there is a default character length now okay that's it i am going to save this column also okay now you can see we have created two columns id name 
and I want to create one more column after name and click go here third column comes I just type here age and age is of integer type okay length uh, and just you can specify some 30 I'm clicking cell okay ID name age 3 columns we have created okay now let us create one more column after this age column okay now just click go here you can enter address now this is address is of type worker you can specify length as 255 and say okay now you can see our table has been created okay now let us insert some information in student database and student info table okay so just click here insert now since we have given as id auto increment uh, first value we have to specify one and uh, name when it comes to name you just uh, specify name of the student i am giving as ram ramu and h suppose 15 address i'm typing as hyderabad hyderabad okay and uh, second column second uh, student's name i am giving it as it is auto increment not necessary id and uh, specify here as shaker okay in age specify some 16 years and rest as Gopal and just press go see two rows inserted in our table student info of student database when you want to check it uh, just uh, click on browse you can see these two are student records which we have inserted into student info in student database okay hope you have enjoyed this guys let us talk in our next video okay for now i am closing this